Here's a 1930 Ford Model A two-door sedan, a unique, especially in classics. Powered by the inline four-cylinder, 201 L-head inline four-cylinder, three-speed manual transmission. Let's take a look at the chrome and bright work up front. As you can see, it also has blinkers that have been incorporated into the front bumper, and those are in working order, so you do have turn signals. Grill guard out front, bright working chrome, looks good up front. Headlight buckets polished good, a Uga horn, and that is working. Better try that out when we start it up, let you hear it run. But first, if you want to check out the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below the video in the description, it's going to take you right there. Of course, you can call us, 507-386-1726. You can see spoked wheels, wide white walls, fire stone gum dipped. Black vinyl top also in nice shape. This vehicle actually has a kind of a letter, I guess, or some information that will go with it of just kind of where it was purchased when it was used and who had it. And it has always kind of been within the same area it looks like and then was restored along the way I was in the same family for quite some time, so just kind of a letter that is with it, kind of a write-up of who had it, where it went to, and a family member's passed down through ownership line, I guess if you will. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. There's also some miscellaneous thing. You know, there's a shift knob and some, some stuff you'll see in the still pictures. Uh, it looks like, uh, like a door handle, ignition cylinder, brake light, some flowers for the, for the back of Oz, if you will. As you can see those there. I want to change things up a little bit. You can see the interior is in nice shape, kind of a beige cloth. Of course, the trunk holder in the rear, rear mounted spare tire. As you can see going around this car, the paint, it shows well on it. There's spots you're going to have, like a little spot like that. Um, just a couple little touch-up spots here and there where it's not perfect, but again, it does show well. Unless that there's a little kind of kink in the hood, and that was actually in the write-up um, through the history, the ownership history of it, and I believe it has been in there for quite some time, was talked about. I'll make sure that uh, envelope stays with the uh, folder on the car so you can kind of read through it. Like I said, it's just kind of a list of names with an ownership history to it. Nothing too crazy. Door panels look good. You can see the fabric of the seats. Nice shape, kind of a herringbone, not, not quite really a herringbone. Anybody knows what that pattern cloth is, let me know. Not hound's tooth or herringbone, from what I can see. Nice shape. All right. Uh, blinkers do work on this car too. Right right there. Just flip that so you can see, and that is front and rear. So nice to have on a Model A. If you're doing any sort of roll-ins, parades, your local cruise-ins. All right. Has an aftermarket temp gauge added, which is also nice. Right there. Underneath the dash, this is a gas shutoff. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Gas turned on. I turned the key on before I start it up too. Let's check out that Uga horn. There's your Uga horn. All right, of course, uh, start her underneath the dash. Push with your foot. This thing just purrs. Anytime I've started it, All right, uh, check out gauges. Looks like the fuel gauge works. About a half a tank there. Amp meter moved. This is believed to be original miles too when I was reading through that kind of ownership history on it. Rather interesting. Slip around the back. Sounds as you'd expect. 
very distinct sound and has that inline four cylinder in them. Uh, let's go ahead and let's open one of these engine compartments. I think, I think we'll do it over here on the passenger side. So let me pause this a second. Let's pop this open, check out the engine bay, wrap up this video. All right, here's the engine compartment. Open this side up so you can see carburetor and both sides. And as you can see, those filler panels, those are there. Lots of things are missing out of these Model A's. Right there, they plumbed in that temp sensor. As you can see, very smooth running engine on this one. Nice, clean, tidy looking engine bay. And then remember, at the end of this video, uh, we will do a driving video on it too, so you can kind of see what it's like to go down the road if you're riding this kind of in this car, kind of like a virtual ride in it. Call us 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com. Free and check out all the still pictures. And remember, we do consider trades, financing is available, and of course, we can assist with transportation. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a 1930 Ford Model A. A very nice running Model A. We do have an aftermarket turn signal indicator mounted to the column and that's working well. This is a three-speed manual on the floor. This particular Model A has full-size windows in the back for the rear seat occupants and they roll down all the way which is a nice feature to have. This car is one of the smoothest running Model A's I think I've ever driven. Take a look at all the pictures of this Model A at uniqueclassiccars.com.